Today, we embark on an exciting journey into the world of mysterious and incredible creatures that have never crossed your path before. In this video, we will explore the astonishing forms of life, getting to know them from both the outside and inside. Get ready for breathtaking discoveries and unexpected surprises as we set out in search of the most enigmatic beings on the planet. The Chacoan peccary is one of the recently discovered large mammals, of which only about 3,000 individuals remain today. These creatures have a sturdy snout and a well-formed nose. The color of their fur varies from brown to gray. A dark stripe runs along their back and they have white fur on their shoulders. But what's really interesting is their nickname, the pig from the green hell. It's called so due to its habitat. These animals prefer arid and wild locations untouched by humans. They navigate these environments skillfully with their short legs and seem to have no issues. If people have some idea about the previous creature, the next one truly makes you wonder from the very first seconds. These photos were taken in South Africa. People were exploring the wild forests and encountered this giant. Whether it's an anomalous tiger, some kind of cow, perhaps a bull or something hippopotamus-like, all these guesses have their merits as the animal shares similarities with all the mentioned creatures. However, according to the source, it's none of them. What do you think is in the cage in this photo? If you think that only large creatures from the past can be unusual and fascinating, you probably haven't encountered opossums. No, not the regular ones. I'm talking about the Sonamelia babies. These forest dwellers have a pleasant appearance and a prehensile tail. They love bamboo, and they spread omal seeds. Moreover, they accumulate fat and hibernate just like real bears. In their free time, they skillfully leap across huge trees without fear of heights and search for various delicacies to eat. And now let's talk about unusual reptiles called the frilled gecko. Don't worry, there's a simpler name too, banana eater. Unfortunately, these lizards are on the brink of extinction. As much as I love all these creatures, the banana eater has truly captured my heart. Just look at how adorable it is. Members of this species live in trees in dense tropical forests and are active from dusk till dawn. Their primary diet in the wild consists of fruits and insects. Due to their low-key lifestyle, people believed they had gone extinct until quite recently. However, unexpectedly, in 1994, a group of German researchers found them alive during an expedition to New Caledonia. The lizards emerged after a storm. Not long ago, people discovered new lizards, but what's next? New mice? Well, I was kidding. Turns out scientists found them too. They named them the New Holland Mouse. Quite straightforward. It's amazing how people can even distinguish them from regular ones. Yes, they're slightly smaller, but that's where the difference ends. Share your thoughts in the comments on how you think people tell mice apart. I suggest taking a little break from the topic of rodents and taking a flight instead. And our guide for this flight will be the Bermuda Petrel. This bird is one of the most famous among those considered extinct. When Christopher Columbus sailed past Bermuda in 1492, there were approximately half a million pairs of these birds there. However, by 1620, the excessively hunted bird was no longer seen and was presumed extinct. Nevertheless, Almost 200 years later, the Bermuda petrel was sighted by humans once again. Our next guest of the episode is the Arakan Forest Turtle. This is the name of our next guest. This creature, native to Myanmar, was considered extinct since 1908, but in 1994, this species was rediscovered in Asian food markets. In ancient times, it was believed that this turtle possessed mystical and medicinal properties, and local residents consumed its meat as a remedy for infertility, while shamans used it to ward off poverty and various troubles. Unfortunately, even today the Arakan forest turtle is under the threat of extinction. It faces challenges from agricultural development, which deprives it of its natural nesting places, as well as deforestation and bamboo harvesting. Once widespread on the South Island of New Zealand, the Takahe is a large, flightless bird with a strong beak and thick red legs. This colorful hen fooled scientists for a whole century, 
ultimately coming back from the dead. Three times. Currently, this heroine can only be found on the land of the Hobbits in New Zealand. And even then, not everywhere, but only on its South Island in the mountains. By the way, do you know how many of these individuals are currently counted? Just over 400. Worldwide! And here's another creature comparable in rarity to the previous one, the Black Leopard. This cat has almost acquired a mythical status. In South Africa, between 1952 and 2013, less than 40 cases were recorded of black leopards being spotted. However, they are not actually a different species. They are most likely the result of a mutation that led to such changes in skin color. And this, in turn, might somehow affect the behavior of the cat or its status in the animal society. It's precisely these factors that attract the attention of scientists. Now I propose that we dive underwater and check out some rare swimming creatures. I'm talking about the Amura's whale. Before its description in a 2003 journal, scientists believed that these creatures had disappeared for good. Furthermore, even after news about the Omura's whale came out, they still thought it was a hoax or simply some other species resembling an extinct whale. However, after conducting DNA analyses, everyone was amazed. By 2015, the scientific community definitively and irrevocably confirmed the existence of these whales. That whale could swallow hundreds, if not thousands, of these little creatures called reed warblers in one go. These birds have a rather interesting history. Nobody, except for one person, had ever encountered them before. Based on this, it was practically impossible to confirm the existence of the species. However, in 2006 in Thailand, the unexpected happened. The world's most unknown bird became a living legend. It's too early to provide any specifics about it, as you can understand why. But in about five years, I think scientists will gather enough information and will be informed. And here's another bird from antiquity, the Madagascar Serpent Eagle. It hadn't been seen since the 1930s. However, a few fragmented observations in the 1970s to 1980s gave hope that it hadn't gone extinct. And then, after another decade, the creature was officially rediscovered. One of the major threats it faces today is the small number of its species. One bird might get caught by another creature, Another might accidentally fall, and a third could get lost or end up in the jaws of a crocodile. This is how the species might face extinction again. However, the fact that the serpent eagle belongs to the hawk family somewhat alleviates the situation. Nelson's ant shrike sounds like some kind of cannon, right? In fact, it is very much a weapon, albeit metaphorically. Distinct from an average mouse, this creature has a longer tail and a slender snout. As you might have noticed, its eyes are tiny. That's because this tiny hero conducts its pest-clearing missions in the garden at night. Besides the usual senses of smell and hearing, the ant shrike is also an expert in echolocation, just like bats or dolphins. How did such a quirky and skilled creature end up on the brink of extinction? By the way, back in the 1950s, people took interest in another creature the New Guinea Singing Dog. These creatures are exceptionally well adapted to hunting on steep slopes with dense vegetation. Their joints and spine are incredibly flexible for a dog. That's why they climb and jump like cats and can squeeze even through small openings. But the way they sing, hmm, it's just fantastic. Sonograms show that their howl is similar to the song of a humpback whale. Seals are large but adorable creatures that usually pose no danger. Even children aren't afraid to approach them. Until recently, I thought this applied to all members of the species. But then I learned about them, the so-called hooded seals. They are usually silvery gray or white with varying sized black spots covering most of their bodies. But the main distinctive feature and quirk of these guys lies elsewhere. They can inflate a large pouch, resembling a balloon, through one of their nostrils. Honestly, I haven't delved into the details and can't say exactly how this happens. I only know that they use this to either attract females or scare off strangers. Our next guests are called Saigas. These are, without a doubt, 
the most unusual antelopes. Saigas are small members of the subfamily that don't reach a meter in height and weigh around 30, 40 kilograms. Their fur is short and golden red in the summer and becomes long, thick, and gray in winter, about three times longer. The heads of males are adorned with 30-centimeter horns with ring-shaped thickening. Of course, the most unusual feature of the saiga's appearance is its large nose trunk. It's most developed in males. This structure seems to serve several functions at once. During the rutting season, males communicate their presence and guard their harem, using loud cries that force air out only through the nose. It's a kind of snorting. It's also believed that this nose helps retain dust while running in the summer and warms the air during harsh winters. What do you think this is? Admittedly, it looks quite harmless from a distance. Well, like spikes on a tree. But in reality, it's a living creature you'd better not touch. It's called Umbonia spinosa, and it's a beetle. The species of these creatures is still poorly understood, but scientists have discovered some things. Their bodies are mostly brightly green or colorful red. The beetle's size is quite small, with a body length of only one five centimeters. It moves in colonies, and because of this, it blends in with the trees, imitating spikes or some strange growths. Whether this creature is venomous or harmless, it's hard to say for sure. So, I suggest not sticking your hands where you're not sure, and everything will be fine. And this is a recently discovered creature as well, or rather a fish, about which there's still little information. It's called the warty clownfish. This creature inhabits tropical and subtropical waters of all oceans. The main feature of our heroine is its legs, which allow it to move much like a human. In reality, if you delve into the issue a little, You'll find that its legs are modified pectoral fins, allowing the creature to stroll along the seafloor and enjoy life. Mother Nature has endowed this fish not only with an unusual appearance and excellent walking ability, but also the ability to swiftly capture its prey. Moreover, its mouth opens to incredible sizes due to a special connection between the upper and lower jaws. All right. I suggest getting out of these scary waters back onto land and checking out an unusual wolf. Yes, you heard that right, wolves can also be surprising. I'm talking about the maned representative. Just one look at this creature is enough to understand that we're dealing with an extraordinary predator. Its body seems disproportionate due to its long legs, large ears, and a hump on its neck. And indeed, the maned wolf doesn't resemble either a gray wolf or a fox although it does have some traits of both. Without close genetic ties to any other canids from different continents, maned wolves form their own genetic lineage. If the previous creature didn't appeal to you for some mysterious reason, then check out the sea pig. Not the ordinary one, of course, but a real sea pig. It's also called a sea cucumber. It's a type of echinoderm which includes sea stars and similar fellows. Sea pigs are found in all the world's oceans. In some regions, they make up over 95% of the total animal weight on the ocean floor. Despite their abundance, most people will never see sea pigs alive, as they live in the coldest and deepest parts of the ocean. Nevertheless, the little piglets are not only cute, but also play an important role in the ocean ecosystem. They basically feed on bits of decomposing plant and animal material found in deep sea mud. Due to its small size and pink color, this armadillo, also known as a pichisiego, might seem like a fantastical creature. It was first described around 1825. The name comes from the Mapuche language, where the word pichi is used to denote something small. Its size ranges from 7 to 11 centimeters. The tiny creature's body is covered in white and silky fur, but undoubtedly, its most noticeable feature is the pink shell covering the upper part, both in young and adult individuals. Moreover, the edge of the armor is not fixed, which allows the white fur to be seen, aiding in protection against the cold. Now, we have another remarkable underwater creature on our list. It's called the Leafy Sea Dragon. Sounds very beautiful and promising, doesn't it? Its body resembles a little dragon, 
with an elongated snout and a multitude of unique fins. But it also resembles a seahorse, as it's its closest relative, although it has been placed in a separate monotypic genus. The length of the fish's body is about 35 centimeters. It looks as though its entire body is made up of growths resembling plant leaves. As you can imagine, the fish uses them for expert camouflage. Naturally, this little dragon avoids conflicts this way. Running away from trouble isn't an option. Our hero swims at a speed of just 150 meters per hour. All right, we've admired the beauty. Now it's time for a bit of darkness. What do you think? Who is this? I'm sure that each of you has your own association in your heads to some extent. Ahem, <clears throat> corrupted. I think there's no need to drag this out, so I'll tell you straight away. It's the penis snake. And now, for the twist. In reality, although it's called that, this snake is the closest relative of frogs and salamanders. In short, it's a mix of bloodlines, a real puzzle. The only comforting thing is that this creature lives somewhere in Brazil, so you don't need to expect a close encounter with it. Unless, of course, any of you were planning to fly there anytime soon. By the way, about flights. We seem to have completely forgotten about birds, even though they are no less amazing creatures. Let's take the example of the lilac-breasted roller. This is Kenya's national bird, which is also relatively unknown. Lilac-breasted rollers have no fear of humans or other animals. They don't fly away when danger approaches, and they don't attack. Ironically, because of this, their population has decreased. In the tropical forests of Madagascar, there lives a very unusual species of gecko. Spotting them is quite difficult because their body shape, skin structure, and color closely resemble dry or fallen leaves, their natural habitat. The tails of the males are adorned with notches and irregularities at the edges, making them look like old, decaying leaves. A pattern resembling leaf veins runs along their backs. Our protagonist is called the leaf-tailed or satanic gecko. Adding to its solemn image is the fact that it only goes hunting after sunset. Its large, lidless eyes seem to be designed for this purpose. For comparison, they can see in the dark better than we do by a modest 350 times. If you suddenly see an animal but can't tell whether it's a zebra or an antelope, it's most likely an okapi, the only representative of the okapi genus in the giraffe family. It was discovered in the 1900s. Up until then, everyone considered it a mythical creature like a unicorn. Okapi does indeed resemble a zebra in appearance. Their height and body shapes are similar, and they also have black and white stripes on their legs and rumps. However, its closest relative is the giraffe. The common ancestor of giraffes and okapis lived on Earth 16 million years ago and was called Cantumerix. One of the main technical rules goes something like this. If it looks bad but works, then it looks good. From this statement, one important conclusion can be drawn. The golden tortoise beetle is a true engineer. Otherwise, how would it come up with creating a fecal shield? And yes, you heard that right. All waste materials, all shed skins are carefully collected and attached to the tip of the movable abdomen. This animal, already well protected, forms a little lid with which it can conceal itself from its fiercest enemies, ladybugs and predatory bugs. Next up, we have a very peculiar bird dwelling in the southwest of Colombia, in the El Oro province of Ecuador. It's called the long-bearded umbrella bird. It mainly feeds on fruits, occasionally consuming invertebrates and small vertebrates. The males are distinguished by their extensive throat feathering. Females and young individuals either lack a beard or have much smaller ones. This bird simultaneously reminds you of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh and Elvis Presley, doesn't it? If you thought that there was little information about some of the previous living creatures, then you simply don't know how little is known about the so-called Sri Lankan frogmouth. These amusing-looking fellows hide from danger by tilting their bills upwards and sitting motionless on trees for long periods, camouflaging themselves as branches. How they eat, reproduce, and all that jazz, it's a mystery. But something tells me that with such a strong desire to camouflage, these birds definitely don't fly around in search of prey. They sit and wait for it to come right into their paws. 
In the province of Krabi in Thailand, a fisherman came across a remarkable discovery that left him in shock. While fishing in his river, he caught a mysterious creature that amazed him with its appearance. Numerous long black legs that gracefully moved like a spider's. This creature was unlike anything he had seen before. Carefully poking the creature with a stick, the fisherman realized with horror that this unusual creature carried a puzzle he couldn't solve. Initially, he even considered burning it, but then decided to capture the moment on video and release it back into the water. It is likely a sea star belonging to the species Colobometra perspinosa. They can grow up to 12 inches in diameter and have up to 10 arms. You have probably already heard about the mysterious creature with a human-like face that was filmed underwater. Some considered it a mythical creature, but in reality, it is a fish called the monkfish. What is so amazing about this creature? Firstly, its eyes are extraordinary. They are so big and unusual that it feels like they are watching us. And what about its mouth? It also draws attention with its numerous teeth resembling human teeth. Despite its unusual appearance, the monkfish is a common fish that inhabits the Atlantic coast from New York to Brazil. It can grow up to 36 inches in length and feeds on various mollusks, oysters, crustaceans, and plants. How can we imagine it hunting for its prey? What is its behavior in the wild? All these questions remain a mystery, but rest assured, the monkfish is not dangerous to humans. Experts advise not to fear this fish and even swim calmly alongside it. Recently, a woman discovered a fascinating fluffy creature on her windowsill at home. She immediately posted it online and asked everyone, who can tell me what this cute fluff ball is? At first glance, this creature seems like an insect, but identifying its species is quite challenging. Have you ever encountered something similar? It gives the impression of a fuzzy insect, or perhaps even has some relation to pigeons since it has feathery tufts. If you have any thoughts or ideas, let us know in the comments. In northern Mexico, a strange creature was discovered, immediately capturing the interest of scientists and becoming the subject of their study. This reptile, resembling a worm and a lizard at the same time, has a pink body and a segmented skin, while its front limbs resemble lizard paws. It turned out to be a representative of the Mexican mole lizard, which predominantly lives underground, making it difficult to encounter on the surface. The Mexican mole lizard clears tunnels with its front limbs and ramming movements of its head. Interestingly, Snakes that move through the tunnels excavated by the lizard are its natural enemies. Despite the fact that locals call this reptile a lot and believe that it can burrow inside a person, there are no documented cases of such infiltration. The Mexican mole lizard spends most of its life underground where it feeds on insects and termites. Up next is the barren caterpillar. It is a representative of the barren family which inhabits the tropical forests of South America and Asia. At first glance, the barren caterpillar appears to be an ordinary caterpillar with a black body and yellow spots. However, its main weapon is its ingenious camouflage. The barren is a true master of disguise. It has special feathers on its body that allow it to blend seamlessly into its surroundings. How long do you think it takes for the caterpillar to create such camouflage? The answer is just a few minutes. During that time, it changes the color of its feathers to match the environment. Additionally, it has a complex pattern on its body that further helps it hide from enemies. But that's not all. The barren caterpillar has another defensive strategy. It can eject its metallic hairs, which can cause irritation to predators. Thus, the barren caterpillar not only camouflages itself, but also actively defends against dangers. Have you ever wondered what lies at the bottom of the ocean? It's an extraordinary and colorful life, where each creature is unique and mesmerizing in its diversity. One of these amazing creatures is the sea lily. This unique animal, closely related to sea stars and sea urchins, has been inhabiting our oceans for 450 million years. There are over 750 species of sea lilies, and they can be found at depths of up to six miles in the deepest parts of the ocean. Some of them live like lazy bushes, 
rooted in the ground and moving only to find new areas to inhabit. Others prefer to travel, traversing the vast expanses of the ocean, while some roam the ocean floor like a herd of cows. These animals filter the water, extracting and consuming plankton, and move in a simple and unassuming manner. To reproduce, the sea lily releases eggs or sperm, and the development of free-swimming larvae begins. It may seem simple and effortless, but the skeleton is external, and the sea lily is no exception. Among them, there are poisonous specimens, and some have complex and unique survival mechanisms. The sea lily is not only a beautiful and astonishing animal, but also an object of study. So, the next time you find yourself at the bottom of the ocean and see this unusual bush-like creature, remember that it is a living being with a complex digestive system and amazing survival mechanisms. Have you ever heard of sea cucumbers? These mysterious creatures are rarely seen by people. But recently, a woman from California managed to capture incredible footage of one of them on Crescent City Beach. These creatures, at first glance, resemble small hedgehogs with hundreds of legs that they use to move along the seafloor. But besides their unusual appearance, sea cucumbers are also true artists. They have leaf-shaped patterns drawn on their backs that look as if someone actually painted them. Despite being quite rare, sea cucumbers are of great interest to scientists. So if you ever find a sea cucumber on the beach, don't miss the opportunity to get to know them better. Who knows, maybe you can unravel the secrets of their lives and become one of the first scientists to uncover all the mysteries. Now let me tell you about an incredible sensation. The stonefish, also known as the warty sea cucumber or alien of the Ariaki Sea. These fish have a greenish-black body with small and sharp teeth protruding outward. Their almost imperceptible eye spots and shiny mucus make their appearance quite intimidating. However, the Japanese highly value the stonefish for its distinctive smell and excellent taste. To add a special aroma and flavor to their dishes, restaurants in Japan add live stonefish, which open their mouths dramatically on the plate. These fish can be found in dried form as a snack, in soups, or in other dishes. Even when ground, the stonefish retains its unique aroma. Although they are called warty sea cucumbers, they are not related to true sea cucumbers. They resemble the parasitic larva from the horror movie Alien in appearance. Despite their gruesome appearance, these fish are considered a delicious delicacy. They have become a sensation in Japan and attract more and more tourists from around the world who want to try this unique fish. So if you ever find yourself in Japan, don't miss the opportunity to taste this amazing delicacy. Not far from Thailand, there is an incredibly delicate and enigmatic species of fish called leptocephalids. These transparent glass-like droplets, measuring no more than 12 inches, glide through the depths of the sea, capturing shrimps, plankton, and marine snow. Their tissues quickly disintegrate upon touch, making the study of their lives extremely challenging. However, despite this, scientists have managed to find out that leptocephalids do not resemble any existing species. They lack scales and red blood cells, and instead of a normal intestine, they have a primitive tube. Due to their fragility and invisibility to predators, leptocephalids have virtually no natural enemies. But that doesn't stop them from occasionally transforming into giant transparent organisms almost two meters long. Next, let me tell you about a little creature, also known as a marmoset. These are small monkeys that inhabit the tropical forests of South America. Do you know how big they are? That's right, they are just a little larger than a mouse. Despite their small size, marmosets are very interesting and fascinating. They are highly social animals and live in large groups called troops. Can you guess how many marmosets are usually in a troop? The answer is up to 15 individuals. They can jump up to 6, 5 feet and climb trees like true monkeys. An interesting fact, marmosets have very sharp vision and can distinguish colors that humans cannot see. But the most amazing thing about marmosets is their vocal abilities. They can produce sounds that resemble bird songs. Additionally, each troop has its own unique singing dialect.
In Brazil, a young researcher encountered a remarkable natural phenomenon near his residence. A creature resembling a two-headed snake wriggling on the ground. Have you ever seen anything like it? If you came across such a creature, what would you think? Upon closer inspection, it becomes clear that it is not a snake, but an amazing caterpillar known as the wandering silk moth caterpillar. These fascinating insects exhibit unique behavior. They gather in groups, and by joining together, form a structure that appears as a single organism capable of coordinated movement. Why do you think this behavior benefits the caterpillars? It makes them more conspicuous and intimidating to potential predators, providing them with additional protection. While searching for food together, the insects discuss their actions, making decisions about movement and direction. As the caterpillar travels, it leaves behind a fine thread that allows it to find its way back to its fellow caterpillars. Do you know any other insects that use threads for movement or orientation? I highly doubt it. Next, an unusual discovery in the Tver region, a young man named Daniel spotted a long and very thin creature on the edge of a water body. Its peculiar shape and movements can evoke fear and bewilderment. But what is this creature really? Allow me to introduce you to the hairy velvet worm, an amazing creature from the phylum Onychophora. But why are they so long and thin? The velvet worm utilizes its shape to move through narrow crevices in the soil where it resides. It feeds on plant debris and microorganisms present in the soil. Despite its appearance, the velvet worm plays an important role in the ecosystem. It participates in the process of organic waste decomposition, helping to maintain the soil in good condition. Additionally, its body contains essential nutrients that can be beneficial to other organisms. Although the velvet worm poses no threat to humans, it can appear quite intimidating at first glance. So if you ever encounter one in your nature walks, don't be afraid. It's just an amazing creature that plays a vital role in the ecosystem of our planet. This creature was crossing an asphalt road and someone decided to stop and capture it on their smartphone camera. Its fluffy fur concealed its head, making it difficult to accurately identify what it was. However, I have a couple of assumptions. Some believe it was a blind worm while others mention a mole, and a few even speculate that it was a mutant from Pripyat. Moreover, from the video, we can see that it had almost no eyes or ears, and its nose resembled that of a cat, which further adds to the mysteriousness of this creature. Recently, the internet has been discussing a strange creature that has attracted widespread attention. No one could understand what this creature was until the video creator shared their story. They were walking in the Catherine Forest area in Australia when they encountered a small, agitated creature with unusual facial features. It turned out to be a Gould's wattled bat, a species of bird found in northern Australia. They possess an interesting appearance, with tiny bodies and peculiar beaks adorned with colorful bumps. This creature was captured by a resident of a village in Indonesia. It is a winged creature of enormous size resembling a bat. So what is this mysterious creature? Allow me to introduce you to the hammer-headed flying fox. This species of flying fox, found in the tropical forests of Asia and Oceania, is remarkable for its size. They can reach lengths of 8 to 12 inches, with a wingspan ranging from 27 inches to 39. Hammer-headed flying foxes are true frugivores. They do not prey on other animals and solely feed on fruits. Their diet primarily consists of figs, mangoes, guavas, and bananas. Despite their intimidating appearance, hammer-headed flying foxes are peaceful animals and do not pose a threat to humans. However, they are a vulnerable species and face various threats, such as habitat loss and hunting for medicinal purposes. This monster can frighten anyone suffering from entomophobia as its wingspan reaches a whopping 10 inches. Allow me to introduce you to the giant long-legged Katydid, but that's not all that makes it truly terrifying. 
This Katie did can produce loud sounds resembling bursts of automatic gunfire. Can you imagine the impact of such a sound? However, don't assume that the size of this creature is related to its terrifying appearance. In reality, giant, long-legged katydids lead exclusively nocturnal lives. Under the moonlight, they venture out in search of food and mates. These extraordinary creatures primarily inhabit the mountains of Malaysia, but encounters with them are extremely rare. Katydids usually consume plant matter, but they won't hesitate to feast on other insects as well. So the next time you hear a strange sound at night, don't rush away. It could be a giant katydid simply searching for its mate or dinner. All right, folks, what do you see in this picture? Would you believe me if I told you it's a frog? The Malaysian leaf frog inhabits the tropical forests of Asia and stands out from other frogs with its ability to camouflage. It closely resembles foliage, allowing it to successfully hide from predators and hunt for prey without drawing attention to itself. The frog has adapted exceptionally well to its environment, making it challenging to spot during the day. It dwells in humid forests, and at night you can notice it by its brightly shining eyes under the light of a flashlight. However, even spotting it at night is not that easy. The Malaysian leaf frog holds value for many amphibian enthusiasts, but they are caught and used for the pet trade. Therefore, it is crucial to treat this unique species with care and avoid causing harm. Let's continue exploring the underwater world. Meet the barrel sponge. These incredible creatures can reach sizes of up to 2 meters in diameter and weigh over 200 kilograms. The main characteristic of the barrel sponge is its shape, resembling a musical instrument, a harp. Its body consists of numerous small openings that resemble strings and allow it to float in the water. Additionally, the barrel sponge serves as a home for various marine organisms such as mollusks, shrimps, and fish. But how unique and mysterious is the barrel sponge? It possesses some extraordinary properties that scientists have yet to fully explain. For example, it can cleanse water from toxins and pollutants, as well as remove dangerous bacteria and viruses from the water. Furthermore, the sponge has properties that may even assist in the fight against cancer, such as breast, prostate, and colon cancer. This creature was found on Coulomb Beach in Australia. At first glance, it appears to be an ordinary piece of plastic, but it turned out to be alive. A 47-year-old man discovered it during a family walk. He thought it was just a piece of plastic until he noticed it had legs and could move. The video quickly went viral, and viewers began speculating about what this creature was and what consequences touching it might have. However, don't worry, apparently, it is not harmful to humans. On the contrary, it represents a significant find for science. Although the exact species name is still unknown, one might consider it something crustacean-like. It is crystal clear and has an unusual shape resembling a moth. A woman discovered the next creature in her garden in Santa Fe. At first glance, it resembles a snake about 10 centimeters long, but its second head instead of a tail suggests something more. What kind of mutant is this, surviving in the city? Most commentators mistook it for a mutant snake, but specialists immediately dispelled this misconception. The mutant turned out to be a grapevine moth caterpillar capable of mimicking a snake, that is, pretending to be something else to protect itself from predators. In this case, grapevine moth caterpillars can behave like snakes, imitating snake movements and appearance. Such behavior deters predators that are not willing to risk their lives attacking a real snake and prefer to search for prey elsewhere. Diving into the ocean near Madagascar, a diver discovered something mysterious that prompted him to get closer. Transparent creatures like invisible threads intertwined with each other, forming an astonishing shape, the letter G. At first, he thought they were plastic bottles stuck together, but it turned out to be an entirely different object. 
Jellyfish that emerged from the depths seemed to surpass all his expectations and fantasies. He felt like a witness to something beautiful and amazing. The gentle movement of the water and the smooth lines of the form created an illusion as if time had slowed down. In those moments, he immersed himself in deep reflections on the beauty of nature and its mysteries, pondering how much remains unsolved and unknown. Encountering such rare jellyfish on video was a stroke of luck, and he was grateful for this unforgettable moment. These encounters remind us that the world is full of puzzles and wonders waiting to be uncovered. In ancient times, when humans first started to familiarize themselves with the wild nature, they were often amazed by the unusual creatures that remained apart from the ordinary fauna. One of these mysterious beings was the curly-crowned parakeet, also known as the feather duster. Scientists are still studying this rare mutation with a recessive mode of inheritance, which likely damages the gene-controlling feather growth cessation. As a result, the bird develops excessively long feathers throughout its entire life. Interestingly, the curly-crowned parakeet earned its name due to the external resemblance of its plumage to a feather duster used for dusting. In Russia, these birds are often called chrysanthemums, or orchids. However, despite their attractive and exotic plumage, feather duster parakeets face numerous challenges. Due to the excessive feather growth, they often struggle to climb, fly, or groom themselves, and may have difficulties determining their gender leading to ambiguous series. Moreover, they have a very short lifespan as they lack essential nutrients. Nevertheless, owners of curly-crowned parakeets claim that careful care allows them to enjoy life and allows us to admire their beautiful and mysterious appearance. Next, we have a mysterious creature that unexpectedly turned out to be a rodent, not a rabbit, although it's called the Patagonian Hare. It is truly an unusual animal species, ranking as the fourth largest rodent on the planet. How is it possible for a rodent to weigh up to 35 pounds? What does it eat? What does it look like? The appearance of the Patagonian hare can be described as a combination of different animals. It has the body of a small deer, the ears and legs of a rabbit, and overall resembles a chupacabra. It's indeed a strange sight, but it has its advantages. It inhabits the grasslands of South America where it feeds on grass and... droppings? Why does it need that? How does it digest vegetation? The Patagonian hare employs a unique strategy for digesting vegetation, which involves consuming grass and fermenting it in its stomach with special bacteria. This helps it extract all the nutrients from the plant material, and then it supplements its diet by consuming feces, especially from sheep. It also possesses a highly developed sense of smell and uses urine to mark its territory and attract mates. Furthermore, the Patagonian hare can run very fast, up to 45 miles per hour, when in danger. Despite this, the Patagonian hare remains a rare and mysterious creature. Underwater photographer Atsushi Sasaki once again demonstrated to the audience that marine life is not only diverse but also astonishing. While diving off the coast of Ishigaki Island, Japan, he encountered a creature known as Costasiela Kuroshimai, or leaf slug and sheep leaf. The uniqueness of this slug lies in its tiny and quite adorable face. Commenting on his video, Atsushi stated that he delightedly observed this strange creature resembling a miniature sheep or a cute and not at all frightening ghost. Life on planet Earth is truly amazing, and in every corner, one can discover something fascinating and mysterious. Next up, we have the Surinam Toad, an extraordinary creature with unique abilities. To begin with, the Surinam toad is one of the most unusual toads on our planet. It can reach sizes of up to 8 inches and inhabits the tropical forests of Suriname and Guyana. But what makes this toad so unique? The answer is simple. It's skin. The skin of the Surinam toad is covered in numerous small spikes that contain a toxic substance. If a predator attempts to attack the toad, it quickly inflates its body transforming into a true spherical defense. This is the reason why the Suriname toad earned its name, Pipa, which translates to ball. Furthermore, the skin of this toad contains another unique substance, peptides that possess antimicrobial properties. 
Researchers are studying these substances to create new antibiotics capable of combating various diseases. However, not only science is interested in the Surinam toad. Its skin emits a unique scent that attracts not only predators but also humans. In Suriname, local residents use the skin of this toad as a fly swatter and mosquito repellent. Let's talk about bearded pigs. These enigmatic creatures with long hair on their snouts look absolutely unique and attract the attention of many people. But who are they really? Bearded pigs live on the Malay Peninsula, Borneo, Sumatra, and nearby islands. They usually inhabit dense forests and spend most of their time searching for food on the ground or in tree roots. But what's so special about these animals? Bearded pigs have a stunning appearance with long white hair covering their snouts and necks, as well as light brown fur on their bodies. They look as if they grew a beard, hence the name bearded pigs. These animals can weigh up to 220 pounds and their body length can exceed three, three feet. Bearded pigs are omnivorous and can feed on vegetation as well as animals, including snakes, lizards, larvae, and carrion. However, despite their unique appearance and behavior, Bearded pigs are facing the threat of extinction. Due to deforestation and illegal hunting, many of them are now considered endangered by scientists. This means that we must preserve their lives. So if you ever find yourself in the forests of Malaysia, Borneo, or Sumatra, be sure to pay attention to these enigmatic creatures. They are unique and essential members of the ecosystem that need to be protected and conserved. In the distant tropical forests of Central and West Africa, there lives an amazing frog called the Goliath frog, which can reach the size of a large cat. This is one of the largest species of frogs in the world, impressing with its size and beauty. Let's tell you more about it. The Goliath frog got its name after the biblical hero Goliath, known for his giant size and strength. And this name is justified. Male Goliath frogs can weigh up to six, five pounds and reach a length of 13 inches, Females are slightly smaller, but still impressive. The Goliath frog is very attractive with its body covered in bright green skin with large black spots. Moreover, it has large pupils and golden eyes that can appear quite hypnotic. It's worth noting that the yellow marks on the frog's body help it mimic the eyes of large predators, deterring other predators and protecting itself from attacks. The Goliath frog inhabits tropical forests and water bodies, where it feeds on various insects, spiders, and other small animals. Additionally, this frog is known for its enormous strength. It can lift objects several times heavier than its own weight. Despite its large size, the Goliath frog is a relatively peaceful creature and does not pose a threat to humans. Unfortunately, the population of this species has been decreasing recently due to the destruction of tropical forests where these frogs live. The Goliath frog is not only a large and beautiful animal, but also an important element of tropical forest ecosystems. Some of the most amazing animals on Earth are not predators or exotic creatures, but domestic animals, such as the pygmy donkeys. Pygmy donkeys are small donkeys that inhabit the island of Mallorca, Spain. They are among the smallest donkeys in the world, and many people find them incredibly cute. Pygmy donkeys have soft, fluffy ears that are incredibly pleasant to touch. Their fur can be white, black, or gray, and it is also very soft. But the most amazing feature of these donkeys is their ability to remember faces. Long ago, pygmy donkeys were used by locals as working animals, but currently their population has decreased to only a few dozen. Nevertheless, local residents take care of them tenderly and help them survive. Once, a family from afar came to the island. The children saw the pygmy donkeys and wanted to pet them, but the donkeys got scared and ran away. However, the next day, when the children returned, the donkeys were already waiting for them and gladly approached to let them pet them. How did they recognize the children among many other people? Research has shown that pygmy donkeys can remember and recognize up to 50 faces, they can remember the faces of people who treat them kindly and will be afraid of people who treat them rudely or cruelly. Thus, pygmy donkeys are not just cute and fluffy animals, but also intelligent and social. In the world of animals, there are many breeds, 
But there is one breed of chickens that stands out among all others, the Ayam Kamani. These chickens, along with horses, bears, and dogs, have a black color, but in Ayam Samani, it is not just the black color of feathers, but the entire body is completely black. In this breed of chickens, the skin, bones, internal organs, as well as the meat and blood, are all black. Why are these chickens so special? It all comes down to the EDN3 gene, which causes hyperpigmentation. In Ayam Semini, the activity of this gene is 10 times higher than in ordinary chickens. This gene also makes Ayam Semani more adaptable to climate changes and resistant to diseases. The meat of Ayam Semani, naturally black in color, has a more pronounced pleasant taste. Breeding these chickens is cheaper due to not needing to constantly feed them antibiotics. Despite all the advantages, the Ayam Semini breed is extremely rare outside of Asia. In Bali, they are even used in cockfighting. Ayam Semani is a breed of chickens that has practically become a symbol of Indonesia. The price for one chick of this breed can reach $200. In the USA, these chickens are considered the most expensive. The price for one chicken can reach $2,500. Here's a fascinating snake that conquered the internet. It's all about its unusual coloration. The Royal Lavender Albino Python looks as if it's covered with yellow-colored smiley faces. The pattern on this snake is strikingly beautiful, with three little faces that appear as if the snake is smiling. Similar coloration can be found in other animals such as horses, dogs, birds, cats, and pigs. The Royal Python, also known as the Ball Python, is a non-venomous snake found in Africa, south of the Sahara Desert. It is very popular as a pet due to its size and temperament. However, opinions on social media are divided. Some consider keeping such a creature at home to be sheer madness, while others are amazed by the python's unusual coloration. The breeder of this reptile admits spending several years to breed a white python with yellow blotches on the skin in the form of smiley faces. The amazing pattern is the result of recessive mutations that occur naturally. Nevertheless, it is highly unlikely to find something like this in the wild. Now let's talk about the poodle moth, an amazing insect with an unusual appearance. This moth is incredibly interesting and unique. It looks like a tiny creature with black bulging eyes and fluffy eyebrows, resembling a snow white poodle. But what is this moth really? Scientists have not been able to determine its exact species. They are characterized by their increased hairiness and their legs and wings are covered with fine fuzz. Their sizes are quite impressive, ranging from one to one, six inches. They lack the typical body shape of a butterfly, but have well-developed jaws that allow them to feed on various vegetation. Fascinating, isn't it? The poodle moth is believed to inhabit the tropics, probably in Venezuela. However, research on this species is ongoing, and new habitats may be discovered. Some scientists speculate that the poodle moth could be closely related to the Diaphora mendica butterfly, or belong to the family of silk moths, due to similarities in their antennae and overall appearance. Imagine a creature that looks like a cross between a horse and a rhinoceros, but has a peculiar trunk resembling that of an elephant. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? That's exactly what you can say about tapirs. Tapirs are forest animals that inhabit the regions of Central and South America. Their name comes from the word tapuira in the Tupi language, which means animal that leaves traces on the ground. Tapirs are very unusual creatures with many unique features, including the presence of a trunk, the absence of lungs in the hind part of their bodies, and four toes. Tapirs can adapt to various environmental conditions and can be found in forests, near water bodies, and even in open spaces. They highly value water, as it is essential for their survival. Using their trunks, tapirs can collect water and food, including grass, fruits, and tree bark. Tapirs have several relatives in the animal kingdom, including horses and rhinoceroses. Furthermore, tapirs can change their coloration to blend with their habitat. Despite their exotic nature, tapirs are not considered rare animals, but remain some of the most mysterious creatures on the planet. In the vastness of the ocean, there are many mysterious creatures, each of them unique and amazing in its own way. One such creature is the Salpa maguirai, a rare species of marine fish discovered in 2014 by fisherman Stuart Fraser in New Zealand. At first glance, this creature appeared to be nothing more than a crumpled plastic bag, but the fisherman's keen eye revealed its true nature. 
Salpa maguare is a transparent fish covered in a tough scale that does not hinder the view of all its internals. Thanks to symbiotic bacteria living in its body, the salpa can emit light, making it even more unique. This marine creature has a barrel-shaped form and moves in water by pumping it through its transparent body. Its heart is located on the ventral side, and its body is covered with a transparent tunic, through which one can see ribbons of circular muscles and intestines. Salpa maguire primarily feeds on plankton and is completely harmless to humans. Its transparent body is just a way of protection against predators, but it also allows us to see the fish's internal organs and systems. Despite its unusual appearance, Salpa maguire is an important element of the marine ecosystem and often becomes food for some fish and sea turtles. Next, we will tell you about a rather unusual creature that has won the hearts of not only New Yorkers, but also Africans. It's the Mwanza flat-headed Rakagama, a reptile that can mimic Spider-Man. This lizard lives in Kenya, Tanzania, and Rwanda. It draws attention with its red and blue costume, resembling the one worn by Spider-Man in comics. But that's not the only similarity to the superhero. The Mwanza Agama can strike heroic poses similar to those of Spider-Man and even has a muscular body, measuring 12 inches in length. However, despite its vibrant colors, the Mwanza Agama is far from being a real superhero. In the face of any danger, it quickly retreats into the cracks of rocks and rapidly changes its bright combat colors to a modest camouflage. This tactic helps it survive in the wild, where any display of bravery can be fatal. Nevertheless, despite its unusual appearance and habits, the Mwanza Agama finds its fans. It has followers in Africa, Europe, and America, where it enjoys immense popularity due to its superhero-like colors. Additionally, the Mwanza Agama can make an ideal pet. It is undemanding and quickly gets accustomed to its owner. So if you've ever dreamed of having your own Spider-Man but can't kidnap an actor, the Mwanza Agama will be an excellent choice. Next, I will delight your eyes greatly because the next animal looks simply unique. It's the Suffolk sheep breed, which is one of the most productive in the world and originates from England. This breed is the result of crossing the Norfolk Horned and Southdown varieties, which gave a unique and productive sheep breed. They are characterized by a strong build, a black head without a woolly fleece, and no horns. They inherited qualities such as endurance, physical strength, adaptability to harsh climatic conditions, and powerful muscular build. Additionally, they have high-quality wool. Suffolk sheep are one of the most productive sheep breeds in the world, which has gained popularity among sheep breeders worldwide. They are mainly used for meat production, but their wool can also be utilized for various purposes. Over 200 years have passed since the first mention of the Suffolk breed in documents dated 1797, but this sheep breed continues to amaze with its uniqueness and productivity. Sheep breeders worldwide take care of preserving this breed and continue to work on its improvement. A person from Beijing went on vacation to one of the most remote corners of China. Fortunately, his car was equipped with a dash cam, as what he discovered shocked everyone. You can see what appears to be a living mini dinosaur that somehow ended up there. Could this be a result of experiments in Chinese laboratories gone wrong? No one has been able to provide a definitive answer to this question, leaving only speculation. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident was undoubtedly a monstrous catastrophe of global scale. However, in the exclusion zone, as many claim, mutant animals dwell. Instead, some people create and perpetuate myths about gruesome monsters that emerged as a result of radiation exposure. For example, there is this huge, flesh-like creature without eyes and a mouth. Honestly, I don't know if it's photoshopped or not, but in any case, it looks incredibly disgusting. It has been almost 37 years, but this accident still gives rise to numerous scary stories and myths about various mutants. Have you ever heard of a plant named after the most famous vampire in world literature? 
This incredible plant is called the Dracula orchid and is considered one of the most exotic and rare orchids in the world. It grows in the tropical forests of South and Central America and earned its name due to its unusual appearance. Its flowers resemble teeth and its stems look like the head of a vampire ready to bite its prey. When an insect approaches the flower, it falls into a narrow vase and can only escape through small openings. Along the way, the insect pollinates the flower, helping the plant spread its species. The Dracula orchid is a plant that will forever be remembered, not only for its unique appearance and beauty, but also for its adaptive qualities that allow it to survive in harsh conditions. It serves as a wonderful example of how the beauty and mystery of nature can inspire and captivate humans. All right, friends, these were the most unusual animals on the planet that you might have seen for the first time in your life. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the Top Facts channel, and write the keyword rocket in the comments. This way I'll know you watch till the very end. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.